All right, so here we have Lightroom. Now, I'll explain my scenario and my setup for this. Right now, I have a camera set on the other side of the room with a USB attached to it. It's on automatic, so the, you know, the stupid setting, the one that, you know, if I'm a, just a plain tourist, I can just take a picture. That means um, it's probably going to have some, some settings on there that I don't want. I'm going to try to keep it in frame of reference to people that don't understand photography. So this is in frame of reference to a person that just got their camera. What they don't have is this setup where, you know, I can go over here and hit this camera and it takes a picture across the room and it instantly imports it into Lightroom. That's called tethering. I'll get into how to tether a camera and how to tether a Nikon or Canon for absolutely free. Uh, that's not a problem. That's easy stuff. But the lesson here is the ability to understand bits. 16-bit versus 8-bit. On my camera right now, I do have a feature set where I can take a picture of RAW, which is a 16-bit format, and it will also take a JPEG. Okay, So I can compare the two. Right now, you're looking at a, a shot that I just took and it's in 16-bit format. How do I know that? Well, down here below, it's in NEF format, not JPEG format. And there is many different extensions cameras have. NEF would be the one for Nikon, and it handles 16-bit. That means that there's special rules that apply to that picture. Um, like if I, was in, if I was in Photoshop, for example, and I go to open that picture up, because there's rules governing uh, that kind of picture, when I open it up, it's going to ask me to expose it. And I'm, I'm going to have all these different little controls over here to, to govern the exposure of it. So NEF files and all RAW files have to be processed after you take them. That means I have the ability to say, okay, well, the window's kind of overly exposed. How would I handle that? How would I be able to fix it? If it's enough format, if it's 16-bit, I could definitely take advantage of it. So I'll show you this as a white balance thing. Here under develop, um, I have the ability to use all these because it's a 16-bit format. I have the ability to take my exposure up and down. Okay, and it, it shouldn't it shouldn't hurt the pixels too much. I have the adjustments for recovery and what you're seeing is the overexposed red here. So if I take that off I can show you. And when I do this it's not killing pixels that bad because there's 32,000 varieties of red, 32,000 varieties of green that I can pick from and it's doing it real time here in Lightroom. Now I'm going to import the JPEG and I have to auto I just have to import that by hand because I've set the camera to not import JPEGs. So I'm going to choose to import that last JPEG that got taken. And I'm going to hit OK. And here's the JPEG image. There we go. Here's the JPEG image. And now I'm going to show you under develop, I don't have the ability to white balance it after the fact. When I do do exposure, you can see it's, it flares out. Um, I don't have the ability to go in between. My recovery is a little bad. It's because it doesn't have enough depth of understanding to handle the variations of uh, exposure that the picture really has in 16-bit format compared to 8-bit um, format. So this is an 8-bit format. This is what, um, in a frame of reference to a person that has a camera that just got out of the box, this is what they're used to dealing with. So I'm going to change that frame of reference to something a little bit deeper. And you'll after you get done with these lessons in Lightroom, you'll be totally shooting in RAW every time. So that's the lesson. That's what I want to show you is the, 
the two variations of the file formats and then we'll get on to another video.